No one expected the 5'9 sophomore from Decatur, Illinois, to actually play tonight in Mackey Arena, but Lewis Jackson surprised everyone in West Lafayette. I think we kind of knew um, the beginning of this week that I probably was going to play, but we really didn't want to push too much into it, and we wanted to stay focused on Purdue and the team and trying to get ready to play Wisconsin, so we really didn't want to make it a big issue, but as far as playing, I mean, I feel great, and it's great to be back out there with my teammates. Unfortunately for the Boilermakers, it was the coming out party of center Keaton Nankavill that was turning more heads. Coming into the game against Purdue, the 6'8 junior was shooting an abysmal 21% from three-point range. But that didn't stop the big guy from going off for 25 points on seven of eight from three-point range, including this go-ahead three with 43 seconds left to go in the ball game. That gave the Badgers their first lead since midway through the second half. Uh, Keaton Ankle being seven of eight from three, that's uh, impressive. Uh, I mean, we were trying to scissor. Sometimes, when they, especially when they had Rob Wilson out there, it was hard because um, you're leaving another good shooter to run at him, so they make an extra pass, and you could be kind of in trouble there too. So uh, <laughs> I guess really Jawan was trying to hedge and get back the best he could. Um, and every, you know, when we could, we'd scissor to him. And the last shot he made, he, we did that, and he still made it. So um, it was a great performance by him. The heavyweight bout continued on when the Boilermakers answered with an uppercut of their own. Etwan Moore's floater in the lane with 27 seconds to go put Purdue back at front 58-57. Trayvon Hughes tried to answer, but his layup with just two seconds to go went begging. And Jawan Johnson salted it away with two free throws to get a crucial 60-57 victory at home. After you win games like this, there's no doubt it helps you. Um, it helps you more than a 20-point win. Um, as a coach, you know, it, it, it's something that, you know, you try to work towards in practice, getting in these situations. Um, but there's only really one way to make improvements in these areas is by getting in and then having success. And um, we were able to make a couple plays down the stretch um, that really helped us. But there's, there's no doubt that um, that was key for us to pull that out. Three victories in a row for Purdue has them right back in the thick of the Big Ten race, and they are right on the heels of first place Michigan State. This Sunday, the Boilermakers continue their conference stretch as they host Penn State right here at home. I'm Robbie Dono here from West Lafayette reporting for Palestra.net, the college network.